Why you shape for life for yourself? Feel free to talk to the person who invited you today, and they would help you with that. One of the things that we've done over at the Wellness Institute is that we've created a menu of options that our clients coming in can use for weight loss. So we're using the Habit and Health system for a whole food eating program. If you have some clients that have food be their preference, they can choose that. We have Take Shape for Life as an option for patients who are willing to go onto this program. It certainly seems to yield the most consistent um, results in a short period of time. And we use that time while the clients are losing weight to teach longevity, to teach the habits of health that are going to be sustainable for the long term so that they can really start to implement changes in their life daily with the support of a coach and with a team. You know, when I was introduced to Take Shape for Life um, two years ago, actually, I was a gynecologist and I was running busy and actually thought that my um, thought that my anxiety was just stress. I actually didn't realize it was hypoglycemia that about 11 o'clock every morning and 3 to 4 o'clock every afternoon I was thinking a pressure curve was going to go off in my head and it was really my blood sugar dropping, not that I was just a stressed mom and doctor. And so when I started rigorously nourishing myself, where every three hours I made sure that I was getting either a meal replacement or a small portion of protein and carbohydrates, my life changed from an anxiety standpoint. It went away. And what I just want to say for all of us as physicians, I often like to say that doctors are people too. You know, rigorously nourishing myself, I thought about those, those words, and that's what I made a commitment to myself three years ago, and then realized that's what I wanted to help my patients make a commitment to if they were interested in changing their lives. So in, in closing, I want to just tell you one of the things that propelled me forward with Take Shape for Life to move beyond just helping my own patients, because that was where I started. I just wanted something easy that would help my patients, that was safe and made sense and help people make a permanent change in their lives. But what I realized very quickly, within a month, I had 22 patients that had wanted to get into a weight loss or health journey of some kind, and I was coaching them, and I realized my time was maxed out. I couldn't coach many more than that myself. And what over the last three years we've done is build a team of coaches. When one of those patients came in 15 days later, having lost already more than 20 pounds in that first 15 days, she said, I have to be a health coach. This is the first thing that has worked. And I said, be a health coach. Um, I don't know how to teach you to be a health coach. And thankfully, through Take Shape for Life, we have a mentorship team that teaches you how to be autonomously supportive, how to do um, motivational interviewing, how to work with your clients so that you can help them find their own motivation to keep moving. Um, when I, what I realized was that if we can sort of have a ripple effect where we help another person and that person helps their, their sphere of influence, that we can change America. We can actually have an influence that goes beyond what one doctor can see in their office. Um, in 2012, a group of the health coaches that I worked with, six of us tracked our records for six months in that six months, we helped 443 people lose 8,163 pounds. Fast forward to 2013, for eight weeks of 2013 that we tracked, we had 400 people that we enrolled in a Facebook challenge. And one of the things about people is we like social connection. We like support. We thrive on connection with other people. And I think that's the brilliance, really, of the health coach and the community who takes shape for life. But in this um, eight-week challenge online, we had 400 people in that challenge. And what was remarkable to me was that two, more than 200, more than half of that group lost greater than 10% of their body weight in that eight weeks. Now, just to notice, those of you that follow obesity drugs as they come to market or all the literature around obesity, two things about 10%. You lose 10% of your body weight, you reduce your obesity-related disease and morbidity death by 50%. So in our eight weeks with that group, and now we're committed to helping them sustain that change over time as their coaches, but that group, half of them, reduced their morbidity by 10, by 50% by losing that 10% of body weight. Um, I just want to invite you three ways that if you're interested in implementing some kind of a health program into your practice, I just want to let you know some options that are simple. First is, ask if you want to have a coach worth work with you and be dedicated to your office and actually support your office staff and your patients in bringing something like this into your office, feel free to ask one of us. We can help you with that. Secondly, if you are interested in just referring out to a coach, you're not necessarily interested in bringing this into your office, but you'd love
love a great resource to refer to. That has worked really well for some physicians that just wanted to refer patients to my team and wanted to be able to um, help their patients get healthy. Thank you, Gloria. I see you nodding. Um, and thirdly, at the Wellness Institute, we made a commitment on our team that every person here is going to get referral pads into their offices and their exam rooms. Whether you want to refer out or whether you want to call and talk about a patient with me or with one of my coaches, you're welcome to. If, a, if one of your patients comes to the Wellness Institute, what we're committed to is partnering with you to work with you in their journey to health. Our coaches will sit down with them and figure out what it is that's what they really want. Most of the time, it's not weight loss. Weight loss seems to be the thing that's sort of what we hear first, but when we ask a few questions behind that, it's really about experiencing life. It's about being able to trick or treat with their grandkids. It's about being able to climb a mountain. It's about being able to fit in a, fit in a um, seat belt on an airplane or get on a ride at Disneyland. It's experiencing life. And so if we can find that motivation, if there's nothing else that you've taught me, Dr. A, this to me has been probably the biggest key, and that is that if we offer how options, if we give people lots of hows, and there's many methods of how to lose weight, there, they abound. But if we give people another how, we're never gonna be successful in the long term unless we've gotten to their underlying why. Mm -hmm. And so that's what the training of our coaches is really centered around, is how to help people find the why of what they want in their life and moving towards that. And that's what the Wellness Institute has now based all of our coaching programs on that concept, actually. So if you'd like to refer to the Wellness Institute, we'll take care of your patients there and collaborate with you to lower their medications and, and move them forward. So I'm gonna close, we're a little bit over. Thank you for being here and have a wonderful day. And Dr. Anderson, I'd like to close with your famous words, let's go get America healthy. Thank you.